Hi, welcome back to um, our MTR recordings. This is video five, our last one. So not much to do really. We wanna just try to build up our um, flow URL now. So the quick recap, we have installed Docker. Uh, we've up made sure it's up to date. We then created our first Docker image. Um, so we've we've got the we've got the tag we've got the docker compose created we've run our docker compose we have two containers running for our, our latest our boomy container we have our postgres container we have then downloaded and up installed our apache container which is up and running and then we have uploaded our default HTML to where the HT docs is pointing. So our web server can pick up a default.html file. So we are here now at this part where we're gonna to try to create our flow run URL. So let's have a look at what our flow run would normally look like. If we hit run on this against the cloud, we've got our run URL looks like this. Let's copy that. We've done our health check. We know our tenant IDs and we know our IP address. So we'll use those. So this is our flow run URL. Let's break it down here. It's us.flow and then our tenant. Then it's a play default with the flow ID and the flow ID version. So we've got some bits here that are interesting. Flow ID version. And we've got, uh, right. So that's kind of like what we're going to make it look a bit like this, uh, but we're going to make it better. We're going to make it look like our um, IP. So my IP address was 35. That's my public. Um, and let's get rid of that cloud one because that's what this is really here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we need to, again, the documentation says we want our local host default.html. Now remember our default HTML contains our tenant ID. So you see the cloud part has the tenant ID in it. We don't need that because it's there. Um, this, the, the cloud part also has which player you're running it in, play default. Uh, that's because I had the default player. If it was, it would be play default legacy because that's what a player we've taken. So we don't need that because we've taken the default player code, default legacy player code, all contained in our default default.html, remember? So we don't need that part of our cloud either. Let's have that up here. So really all we need now is the flow ID. So our flow ID was AFFAA1. So it is that one, so that's fine. And so when we got, so we got our IP address, our port, our default.html and the flow ID, which is that flow. So let's take that. And that's that and now we're not running against the 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 boomy flow cloud whatsoever. This is hitting my IP address with my port. So let's run that. And there we go. We've got my flow that's running. It's a simple flow. It gives me a couple of steps that rolls in between. So look, I'm I'm running my flow. Uh, and it, this is, shows it's going on to another step. So it's got an outcome and I'm just returning to that page. So it's, it's cycling around. It's absolutely fine. So all I wanted to do is show it working. And there we have it. I, I am now running my flow against my MCR Docker container, against my MCR Postgres container, against my Apache web server running my default.html page. And that concludes the very basic running of the Flow MCR environment. Thank you very much for watching my series of videos. Um, I wish you well in your Flow journey.